What's up guys? Alright, so today we're going to be taste testing the new Impossible Sausage, both flavors savory and spicy. We'll be trying it in three recipes, in a breakfast sandwich, in a breakfast burrito, and also in a simple vegan bolognese. This is gonna be a bit of a cook with us vlog, but make sure that you stay tuned to the end to see how this sausage compares to all the other vegan breakfast sausages out there. Let's get into the video. So let's get the supplies that we need. So for breakfast, we need muffins, some wraps, wraps. Oh, show them the Ezekiel wraps too. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll show them too. Some cheese, cheese. Tofu, butter, and some onions. Where's the leftover pasta? Some leftover pasta, and our favorite tomato sauce. All right, guys, this is the sprouted grain tortillas. We're not gonna use these today, but definitely something for you guys to check out. Yeah, Ezekiel brand anything we love. Absolutely, we have like. We have the pitas from them. We have, we have the pitas, wraps, wraps yeah. the bread, the English muffins. The English the muffins. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Come on, man. Also, some agave. 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 <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, this isn't the first time that we have reviewed Impossible products. If you look on the channel, you can watch any one of these videos where we have reviewed various Impossible products. But more importantly, we reviewed the launch of Impossible Sausage when they launched it at Select Burger Kings, uh, particularly in Savannah. We took the whole family on a road trip and we tried it out. So make sure that you check out that video to see our reaction. All right, so this is everything that we need. But before we get into it, you know I gotta hit you guys up with some nutrition facts, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now guys, these products do have soy in them, so if you're just trying to stay away from soy or you have an adverse reaction, stay tuned to the end of the video because we'll let you know some of the products that you can try that do not have soy in them. So we are all prepped. We have our onions cut up for the tofu scramble and for the spicy bolognese that we'll be making. Guys, if you need to know how to make these things, we do have these recipes in our cookbook for the tofu scramble, the spicy bolognese. Also, I know some people like to add some sausage to their meatloaf. We have a great meatloaf recipe in our cookbook as well. So definitely pick up that cookbook. It is only $6.19. Now is the best time to get it while you still can for a limited time price. And shout out to everybody who's been coming over and supporting at the website, buying those cookbooks because we recently checked our order list and we were like, what? Where'd we get all these orders? Like, it was crazy. So keep on supporting, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. And also support this channel, subscribe, like, leave a comment. Which one of these items are you most excited to try and which recipe are you most excited to try? Go ahead, leave that comment right now. Also, shout out to Satara for leaving this comment right here. Our favorite part was when she said her kids devoured the whole box of Jack and Andy's nuggets. We got six kids too. That's exactly what happened in this house. So we know exactly what's going on in your house too. <laughs> we also love that she said we love you guys and you guys have the best vegan reviews. So thank you again, Satara, for that comment. And we love you too. Guys, a little bit about Wildwood. It's actually a tofu that we really like to use. The reason we like it so much is because it's very easy to drain out. It does not have that much excess liquid in it. So we really recommend Wildwood, guys. If you can get it in your area, definitely pick it up. We usually find it at our local Whole Foods, so that'd be a good place to check it out. They also right. have it at Sprouts, too. They also have it at Sprouts. Yeah. So check those two places, see if you can pick you up some Wildwood. Wow. It's a good shot. The choices that are being made. 
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm just caramelizing the onions. We're gonna make one big batch of the spicy for the bolognese and the bur breakfast burritos. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like fresh out of the tube. We didn't really want to add too much butter because we know it's impossible. You don't really need to add butter. But guys, I can tell y'all already, it smells really it smells good. It smells amazing. It, it comes super seasoned. I don't know if you can see that on there. I didn't add that seasoning. We haven't added it. any seasoning, guys. It smells amazing. My wow. goodness. Wow. It's cooking fast, it's cooking too. It's really fast. Yeah, that's we have the thing it on medium, impossible. too. Yeah, that's the thing with Impossible. It takes like, maybe like two minutes on each side and you have cooked meat. Mm, this smells, smells good. great. Mm, can't wait. All right, guys, we're gonna add some Michaels of Brooklyn. That around. I did lower the fire yeah. <laughs> because I don't want it to run out the sauce or anything like that. But guys, this smells amazing. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Nah, nah, nah. All right, guys, so we have the pasta is warmed up. Yeah. Over here, we have the tofu scramble looking good. That's what we're adding. It's just the eggs and the meat. Yeah, and we're just going to add some pepper mature cheddar Ooh. to the tofu scramble. Make the cipher complete. Oh, you know what is coming today? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> Guys, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. That weekly vlog is going to be... We're going to do that. <laughs> yeah, the house smells like a restaurant, as usual, guys. Like, seriously. All right, that's good. Yeah, that's ready. Damn. Okay, guys, so there's an up-close look. This is the savory flavor. Yeah, and we just have it on medium. It's cooking pretty fast, but it's super oily, guys. It's super oily, but all you need is like two minutes on each side, and it should be ready to go. All right, flipping time. When it's flipping time. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> is it even ready? It's it's. Uh, we'll see. I don't know, bro. Nah, that that looks like um impossible burger. Yeah, that looks like the burger. Ooh, you're that super. Yeah. It's, it smells pretty similar. Yeah, it smells pretty similar to the Impossible Burger. Oh, look at that bleeding. <laughs> That's crazy. Juicy. All right. Alright guys, so first up I'm going to be trying out the regular breakfast sauces. This is the savory flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. How does it compare to Beyond Breakfast Sausage and the, the Jackfruit Breakfast Sausage we watched the other day? Okay. If you guys have seen our Beyond video, y'all know that breakfast sausage is amazing. We actually buy that on a regular. And the jackfruit one was pretty good as well. This is pretty good also, but the jackfruit is better. Oddly enough, the jackfruit is better. But overall, I do think there are better breakfast sausage options out there. All right, question for you, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir? All right. <laughs> the way that the Beyond breakfast sausage is so different from the burger where you distinctly know okay this is a burger this is a breakfast sausage but they're from the same company would you say that the impossible breakfast sausage isn't distinct enough from the burger itself this which is the same thing we said the first time around pretty much. it's not distinct enough and you're right that's exactly what we said about the launch at Burger King we said it's pretty good 
it has potential, but it needs something. It, it's missing something. And like I said, it's pretty good. It's worth trying out, but it's it's not strong enough. It doesn't give you that that sausage vibe that you're looking for from a breakfast sausage. Yeah, that fennel -y, very It's saucy. missing the fennel, yeah. It's missing the maple or the fennel. For a sausage that's something that's supposed to be pork sausage, it's it's missing the some some of those spices. All right, so let's move on to the next breakfast. All right, so I got the breakfast burrito, but this was made with the spicy flavor. Guys, if you hear anything in the background, the kids are playing outside, so that's what you hear. But this one is made with the spicy pork sausage or the spicy sausage flavor. Is it any more sausagey? Yes, definitely more sausagey. Has more of a sausage flavor than the savory. It does have that's it. It owns up to its name. It is pretty spicy. So all those seasonings that we saw when we were cooking it, it's definitely you can taste it. Very well seasoned, very spicy. Not my favorite, but still really good and worth trying out. So last but not least, let's go ahead and try the bolognese. All right, and this was also made with the spicy. Now I did take a taste of it when we were making the reel. Make sure that you guys follow us on Instagram and check out those reels. How is it with the sauce? Yeah, that's good. Mm. How would you improve it? How would you improve the appetite? I would, um, I don't think it needs improving. I think it's really good. It's really good. Whatever seasonings you like to put in your bolognese or in your pasta, or you follow our recipe from our cookbook, you'll be set. Because this is really good. This is really good. I, I, I think it, I think it tastes better in this than it does in the breakfast burrito. Mm. What about compared to the breakfast sausage? If you had to recommend yeah. to someone, mm -hmm. you would say, Get the spicy, make bolognese out of the three. Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> yes, I would. And would you say this bolognese is better than when we make it just with impossible meat? That is up for debate. Um, when we make the bolognese with the regular um, impossible, it's not spicy. So it's up to you. If you like a kick, then I would suggest you get this. If not, stick with the regular impossible. But it's definitely worth trying out. If they have it at your local store, go ahead and get it. By the way, guys, if you don't have this in your area, I would suggest you go check out vegco.com. I know they have the breakfast sausage patties in bulk there. And if you use our coupon code, you actually get a discount. So go ahead and get it from there if they don't have it in your store. And that but discount is only on your first um it's only on your first order, so take advantage. If you've never heard of VegCo before, go ahead and check them out. They have plenty of bulk vegan items and goodies. Now guys, as far as the soy-free options, we do recommend Beyond Breakfast Sausage. And if you want something that's a little less processed, I would go with the Jack and Annie's Breakfast Sausage. It's super porky, guys. Yes. It is super porky. It has that distinct like breakfast stuff. Like you feel like you're eating breakfast. Yes. And they actually won an award too. Oh, they did? The Next to award. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, definitely worth checking out. If you don't know what Jack and Annie's is, check out our last video and you'll get a full review. But until next time, guys, don't forget to drink your almond milk and sip up your coat. See you in the next video. <laughs> <laughs>